14 panels, about 400 and I think 50 watts bifacial panels, or five, no, 554 watt bifacial. So um, what I'm getting to do is, cause this thing gets hotter than hell in here. Uh, I have an outdoor EG4 battery with the 12K um, outdoor inverter, but I just bought an indoor inverter. Let me go up here and show this to you. And I'm gonna put a mini split on my system. So, obviously it could stay cooler. I feel like the solar system would work more efficiently and not be so hot if I put an AC on it. So that's, that's the battery underneath there. That's a new EG4 indoor battery. I'll uh, take a picture of the box and insert it in here. So let's go back to the solar trailer. But basically, yeah, I'm gonna be putting a mini split, uh, 110 unit. Hey, kitty cat. You always seem to be around here, huh? What are you doing? What are you doing? You're hungry? Uh, I don't know. I don't have any food. Sorry. So this is the uh, mini split I bought. I bought the Rove Sun. A lot of good reviews on this. So that's what I bought. Uh, we got the 110. Look how hot it is in here right now. So it's getting too hot in here for me. I mean, everything's made for this, so it's no big deal, but I, I still think it would work better. So I already mounted the MIDI split on the wall. Um, this is the solar setup here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the other indoor battery over here and hook it up to this battery. And it's all gonna run off this inverter. So I have two batteries to run the uh, air conditioning in here. And I'm also working on getting a propane generator. That's another thing. So we got the mini split unit mounted, um, pretty simple. I will break that down and maybe make another video. It actually is looking a little crooked right now. So I'm going to have to adjust that because when I put it up there, it was level. So let's go back outside. So you can see how it's mounted. So here we go here. We got the Freon lines coming out, the power line coming out. Uh, for some reason, my other unit is a plug-in, so I put that in there. So I'm about to change that to a uh, disconnect system. And then I will mount the outdoor unit over here. So uh, that's what we're looking like. I'll put some inserts or some videos in, in, in between this so you can kind of see what's going on. But yep, got everything mounted. Got the water line and then the two free online then you can see i put some big bolts in there with some uh metal screws so it won't go nowhere all right so this is the rove sun system hooked up i'm vacuuming out the lines here trying to you know get the system right checking for leaks even though it didn't go good i'll talk about that here in a second but yeah i bought the vacuum pump from amazon bought the gauge from amazon hooked everything up this is the EG4 indoor battery next to the outdoor. Yeah, I just bought that coupling. They do make a set of wires. I would recommend that more than that coupling, but I wanted to install this today. So I went to the lecture store and bought that. But over time, I will buy the EG4 dual end connectors, for lack of a better word, even though I feel like they should have put that in the package. It's not like you could hook up the battery to two inverters. So I'm not sure why you'd send two of the cable, but... Uh, that's you know solar the solar way so this is 102 degrees in here right now and we're going to get back to the temperature in a minute so i did all that leak test vacuum pump test on the thing and guess what it was still leaking from there so that's me spraying it down it was free on leaking straight up out of there so not really sure what the vacuum test really does but i'm not an ac expert but i got it hooked up um so just make sure those things are tightened they say tightening with a torque wrench 
I, I have a torque socket, not a torque wrench. So, uh, yeah, it was leaking from right there. After I did the vacuum down test, all the gauges held, but still leaked. So just be careful. Um, so that's me. Just And then also, uh, that flare was leaking from there. So I had to re-flare that. So a lot of the videos, no one, obviously everybody does it perfect except for me because all the videos I watched, no one ever had a leak, but I had two leaks. So either I'm a dumbass or everybody else is perfect, but I'm just telling you to tell you uh, your leak is probably coming from you did not torque down the bolt tight enough or your flare is not good. And I used two crescent wrenches at first, but I recommend using a crescent wrench and a vice grip uh, or a channel lock because it to me it got it much tighter than two crescent wrenches so that is the unit it is on the battery is on it's plugged up everything's plugged up so I got the dual battery system finally to help run this new AC uh, yeah everything on the system is running good that was that was right after I plugged in the battery so I was just playing around with the screen to make sure the the inverter was recognizing that the uh, other battery was plugged up. Uh, I couldn't figure it out on the inverter, but on my app, it shows that two batteries are in parallel. So we are good to go there. At some point, I'll probably clean up this uh, container. It's still a little dirty. Always something to do. So 93 degrees. Then I turned on the AC, ran it for about 30 minutes down six degrees already so everything's working good installed a mini split on my solar unit installed a new eg4 battery we in business so briefly i want to just say a couple more things here i was going to end the video but the reason i installed the mini split on this container is because first i think i'll get i'm pretty 100 percent positive uh, i don't know if i think but I'm more than sure that I will get more longevity out of my inverter and my batteries because they won't be getting so hot. And also in the winter, um, when the battery has to heat itself, that inverter has a heater on it. So when the battery has to heat itself, it uses a lot of power. So I wanted to prevent it from getting too hot and too cold because in the winter you have less sun. And then when it's real cold, the inverter is working it's heating both of those batteries are self-heating it's heating itself to uh keep keep you know keep itself balanced and from the you know batteries not getting cold so they have less life so it, it's a fine balance and you're using more power with less sun so i wanted to make sure that i had you know not the best most equipped uh mini split but just something in there to keep the temperature cool i mean to me, as long as it's like, you know, below 85 and not going too much below freezing or, or, or 40 degrees, uh, I'm, I'm happy with that because that mini split is only 12,000 BTU. So it's not, uh, it's made for 500 square feet. The container is only 350 square feet. But what's really is fighting against is me not having that container insulated, uh, which I may do over time, but uh, I'm not really really considering that so i just want to talk about that and let you guys know that on the back end and uh yeah the other battery is working good um you know i don't i didn't really want to show the hookup because i know what i'm doing but i'm not an expert there's plenty of other guys you know will pros and plenty of other ac videos where you can watch people hooking up things correctly and like i said i've never hooked up an ac and i obviously didn't hook it all the way up right that's why I was leaking. So, you know, go watch a video of someone that's uh, a little better than me. But hopefully the information helps. Hey, man, please, you know, if you have any questions, always welcome to leave it in the comments. I try to get back as soon as I can. And, yeah, man, my system is up and running. Haven't been able to get the both batteries fully charged yet, but it takes double the time now. So I just have to be patient. And the day after I hooked this up, I had the AC running all day long. Uh, it was like 94 degrees here. So, you know, the uh, the unit in my container house and in this shipping container were running. So, you know, the, the batteries really didn't have any time to catch up. But, you know, the system's working good. The AC's blowing cold. I got it hooked up on the Wi-Fi so I can control it from anywhere. And, um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty satisfied. Yeah, I could have got a bigger AC unit. But, hey, man, 
how much you gonna spend, man? Hey, maybe you balling like that, or maybe I ain't balling like that, but hey, man, I'm content like that, player partner. So, hey, man, I hope this helps. Man, be safe out there. Uh, keep it moving. Keep it grooving, man, and stay away from people that's losing, partner, and be your best, man. Peace.